today's class. <laughs> I swore I never wanted to be a teacher and look at me. Apparently I love teaching, but only about things that I wanna talk about. <laughs> So I found the internet. Um, all right, today's class is all about how to gain confidence working with your sourdough starter. So look at this baby, it's so cute. This is my Albus whole wheat starter, day nine. This is my all purpose. I am thrilled to pieces with this today because I was nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I was nervous, but man, it smells good today. It's got amazing action happening in there. Luna, she pulled through, right? She always does. She's just such a, such a good helper. All right, and then this is my mixed. So this is whole wheat and all purpose mixed, looking amazing, smells amazing. I made it, right? I made it through the wilderness. <laughs> I made it. So day nine, they're looking great and you might be like, hey Kelsey, I'm ready, like give me all the bread. Here's what I wanna say and what I've said in every class I've ever taught about this is that this is a skill, it's gonna take some time. I'm starting to get messages like, what did I do wrong? I'm like, you didn't do anything wrong. It's going to take time, especially if you're trying to make your starter more mild, like these babies over here, look, various stages, they've been a little neglected with this whole experiment, but they're very resilient. They forgive me every time. But um, it takes time to get your starter more mild. So if you're just starting out and like baking a loaf of bread with this, yeah, you're gonna definitely see that tang. It's been sitting on the counter for nine days. It's warm, it's super happy, but then it's gonna take time to get it nice and mild. So stick with it. The whole thing about this is patience. <laughs> The whole thing about everything that's happening right now is we just don't know, there's no timeline and we need to have patience, right? And only control what we can control, throw a little mindset in there. So we can control just being consistent and patient and just keep moving forward, keep feeding it, keep loving on it. And here's what I'll say, to gain confidence working with sourdough, this is why I've created so many recipes that aren't bread because I want you to get used to the rhythm. It's such a habit and such a rhythm. It's gonna be part of your life. <laughs> this is part of your life now. Um, you have created something that is so amazing that can follow you for years to come and feed your family for years and years forever. Um, but you need to gain confidence with it and putting it into your daily life and as part of your rhythm. So how you do that is make waffles, make crepes, make English muffins, right? Like make pancakes, make something with some of the recipes that I've created or that you find online. There's tons out there that are great. It's not just mine, but. I'm pretty partial to mine because um, it look, took me a lot of time to find ones that I loved. But make waffles is your first assignment is to make my waffle recipe because it will give you that success, right? It will give you that confidence of like, oh my gosh, I just made something with my starter and we actually loved it and ate it, okay? If you start out trying to make a beautiful artisan loaf, which some of you have made beautiful ones anyway, but if you start out that way and it flops or it's like whatever, you just feel so discouraged and you feel like you failed and you feel like you're never gonna get it, but I promise you will get it. You really, really will. But start off with something that will give you an easy success. <laughs> Waffles, crepes, those are your assignments. So. Get in that rhythm of, well, what do I do now? Here's what you do. If I were gonna make crepes with this or waffles, I would stir it down and measure out what I need, measure out a cup or three quarters of a cup, whatever the recipe calls for, measure that out and then feed the rest. If I want a lot of starter, if I wanna split this off and feed two starters and really get going with this, then I can do that too. It's up to you how much you keep on hand but just keep going with it and keep having those little wins along the way. Sure, you can experiment with bread and try it and go for it, but also be making some other things that give you that confidence to like, no, like I'm gonna get this, I can do this. <laughs> that is your lesson for today, to gain confidence in your sourdough baking. Do some other recipes that are gonna give you those little boosts along the way before you dive right in into 
amazing you know loaves and the braided loaves and all those things there's a lot of fun things that you can do and create with this but i want to give you some success along the way as you're learning this new skill and making it part of your life so that concludes today's lesson